Assalamu alaikum and welcome to today's video which is going to be all about micro feminine habits for the busy Muslim women inshallah. I've noticed that there were a few misconceptions about what it meant to become more feminine as a woman who's stuck in your masculine energy and one of them is that it's actually really hard to be more feminine and that's not the truth. And so today I wanted to give you a few things that you can start doing from now on that will make a lot of impact in your life inshallah and that will be easy to engage in and to start those small habits that you might not suspect to be transformative but that will be inshallah and in case you're not sure if you are stuck in your masculine energy let me just remind you what that looks like so if you are constantly on the go if you struggle to rest and when you rest you can only do it with that sense of guilt if you struggle to take care of yourself or you have the random and occasional spa day but that's pretty much it and you think that that's the only way that you can take care of yourself if you are emotionally drained if you are stressed off if you have a lot of anxieties, if you are burnt out spiritually, emotionally, physically, all those signs are signs of being stuck in your masculine. And a lot of us, unfortunately, are conditioned to be stuck in our masculine in today's society. And so in this channel, I try my best to teach you as much as possible about how to recognize those signs and how to change that so that you can embrace and embody your feminine essence and come back to your fitra, your natural state, which is to be more relaxed, softer and less live a more qualitative life as well and talking about how to do that i will be hosting a webinar on the 5th of june inshallah that's a wednesday at 6 p.m british summer time in which i will really go into the detail of what it means to embody your feminine essence as a woman who might be stuck in her masculine or potentially in your wounded feminine so if all of these terms are confusing to you right now definitely come and attend this webinar because i will go into detail as per explaining what everything means, how you can assess your current situation and how you can get out of that state of basically being in flight or freeze constantly, feeling like you're on survival mode and not feeling like you are being your authentic self. That's what we'll be covering in detail in the webinar inshallah. Now let's get started on those micro habits that any woman, whether you're busy or not, can start applying into your life to be a lot more feminine inshallah. And the first one is dhikr. Dhikr, remembrance of a Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because to be in your feminine essence you need to feel like you can rely on someone or on the best entity that you can rely on and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously and when you have that sense of safety with Allah then it becomes easier to fall into your natural state of being in your feminine and being softer and being more relaxed. So for us women to be relaxed, we need to know that Allah has our back. And for us to create that connection and that relationship with Him, we need to be talking to Him a lot more than in our normal ibadah, in our daily worship. So the question is, outside of your five prayers per day, how much time do you spend talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or thinking about Him, remembering Him? And so the first thing that I really wanted to mention and, and slow down on is this idea of like in your day-to-day -day activities, when you're cooking, when you're cleaning the house, when you're at work, when you're struggling with something, when you feel lonely, is Allah the first one that you turn to? Do you have these internal conversations with Him? And if not, then definitely start having those. This is one of the feminine habits that you can apply in your life in a very easy way without it taking too much time and energy simply by thinking and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that will make you feel like you're covered like Allah has your back you can relax everything is under control he is the one who's in charge of your life and therefore it can only get better from now if you believe that so dhikr is, is the first thing to do and I like to see it as more than the dhikr that we normally engage in like the subhanallah alhamdulillah Allah akbar which is great but that we often do in a very robotic manner so if you are already engaging in those habits just bring a lot more mindfulness into them and then add on to it having extra conversations with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in normal day-to-day -day activities inshallah now related to that the second micro habit that you will enjoy and that will bring in a sense of stillness and femininity into your daily life is meditation and mindfulness in general just taking five minutes to slow down and focus on 
down your breathing and shut down the noise in this very busy world where as women we are asked to take care of the kids take care of the home work a nine to five be a good mother be a good daughter be a good wife a good sister be present for everyone at times it gets really overwhelming and that's when we get stuck in our unhealthy masculine side by being constantly on the go and therefore meditation is a good practice to invite into your routine because it will allow you to slow down and to just check in with yourself the first thing that i do when i host a session with my clients in group settings is a check-in a few deep breath and then dua so that we can start the session in a state of presence mindfulness and just being grounded and also connected to our bodies the feminine energy is all about disconnecting from our heads and really tapping into how we feel where is the tension in your body can you do something about that tension in your body can you release it can you bring some attention to parts of yourself that are struggling that need compassion that need some sort of release and that only happens when we are present and this is very much related to dhikr because when we are present we're also able to converse with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be grateful and engage in those small activities that allow us to feel better on a day-to-day -day basis so if right now you are feeling overwhelmed and burnt out chances are you're not spending enough time in stillness and silence so invite meditation into your day-to-day -day life inshallah and you'll see the difference as well the third habit of a feminine woman who doesn't require a lot of energy and time but which will be really important is practicing self-compassion so from now on i want you to take note of how much negative self-talk you engage in on a daily basis we all have an inner critic that will not hesitate to come at us when we make mistakes when we don't reach our goals when we say something silly and then we go into overthinking mode and that side of us is natural however how much compassion are you bringing into the picture when this nagging voice comes up in your head so the trick is not to try to erase completely the nagging voice because that's not going to happen naturally and it's going to take time but the way to do it is just to emphasize the voice of compassion or even create that voice of compassion if you feel like you don't even have one in the first place and this will be common for sisters who have grown up in an, an environment with parents that were really harsh and critical of everything and those types of parents unfortunately will have highly impacted your inner dialogue so it's your job now to reparent yourself and do some inner child work by creating that voice of compassion creating that voice that loves and care for you the way that you would care for a friend so self-compassion is the third habit to develop learn to be gentle towards yourself notice when you're not and counter that with the opposite talk to yourself as you would talk to your best friend or as you would talk to a child because there is a child within you that needs healing that needs attention and that deserves love and care and affection so learn to give that to yourself on a daily basis and that starts with just that inner dialogue shift that you can make very easily inshallah the next one is probably one of my favorite one and it's all about prioritizing self-expression the feminine is all about the creative side it's about being yourself in the way that you show up in the way that you talk in the way that you dress and that is all part of self-expression and one of my favorite way to express myself is through journaling so I talk a lot about journaling on the channel but there are a thousand ways that you can do that that fit your style and what you are passionate about and what you prefer so explore ways to express yourself it could be creating a vlog it could be engaging in an artistic activity I used to love weaving and crochet and knitting and anything that had to do with some sort of crafts and I remember that those were some of the times that I was the most in a flow state and the feminine is all about the flow state it's really about nurturing that present moment by engaging in an activity that allows you to focus on your sensation rather than your thoughts so think about something that you could do on a daily basis that would allow you to express yourself to let go of your thoughts and transform them into something beautiful at least in your sight it doesn't have to actually be beautiful but it is beautiful in the sense that it's a release and then the final thing that you can do on a 
day-to-day -day basis that will make you feel a lot more feminine is use the china meaning if you have anything in your home that you're keeping for a special occasion whether it's jewelry a special perfume a cream that you've paid a lot of money on and you're just keeping these things even an outfit like we all have these clothes that we buy and we accumulate and we just tell ourselves oh i'll use that later just use it now like one of the things that i love about living alone and having my own space is that i can do that on a daily basis I, i'm a major fan of golden jewelry so i treat myself with a lot of jewelry and i wear it on a daily basis without waiting for an opportunity to do it and for you it might be something completely different um, but think about what it is that you're saving for another day maybe it's a set of like teapots or nice fancy glasses get that out of your wardrobe or of your pantry and use that on a daily basis treat yourself romanticize your life and that will make you feel a lot more feminine because it will show you that you deserve to use those beautiful things not when it's a special occasion not when you have done something specific but just because you exist and that's the beauty of the feminine essence it's just like enjoying life each second second that's it for today in terms of tips and if you want to register for the webinar just make sure that you click the link in the description box if you want to do the work outside of the webinar and with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis you can also apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program the sacred feminine energy program and i'll be happy to support you inshallah i'll see you in the next video you take care